were asked to find an upper bound on the error function um, for uh, function approximating. Uh, I'm going to start that one over again. In this problem, we're going to find an upper bound on the error in approximating the hyperbolic cosine or hyperbolic sine function um, using its Taylor series, um, and we're going to be looking for an upper bound on the error when x is within uh, plus or minus one of zero. So know that the error term is uh, the absolute value of the remainder. which um, by the Taylor-Lagrange theorem is um, equal to well, n plus 1 derivative evaluated at c for some point c in the interval um, negative delta to delta, where delta is equal to 1, over n plus 1 factorial times x minus the center, which is just 0, so x to the n plus 1. Now, since f is equal to hyperbolic sine, uh, know that uh, f, of n, um, f of n plus 1 at x is equal to either um, Cinch of x or cosh of x, depending on whether um, n is odd or even. So if n is even, then it's going to be cinch. And if n is odd, excuse me, if n is odd, then it's going to be cinch. And if n is even, then it um, will be cosh of x. So to find an upper bound on the error, we essentially just need to maximize um, the n plus 1 derivative of cinch evaluated uh, at c, where c is somewhere in this interval negative delta delta, which is just negative 1, 1. So this is uh, going to be less than or equal to, well, if we maximize so we we'll want to maximize either or both cinch and cosh, and then just see which one has the largest value, and take that as um, our upper bound, kind of just to be on the safe side. So um, if we want, if we maximize, or say if n is odd, so um, this is uh, or f the n plus one derivative is cinch of x, then um, what we want to do is set cinch of x, or the derivative of cinch, so cosh of x, equal to 0, and solve. Well, there's no solutions. So we just need to check the endpoints. So we'll get cosh of minus 1, which, since cosh is even, this is the same as cosh of 1, uh, which is equal to 1.54. So we know that 1.54 is one possible bound. However, if um, n is even, we need to make sure that, um, that this can't somehow end up larger than 1.54. So if n is even, then we're trying to maximize uh, hyper the hyper her, excuse me the hyperbolic cosine on the interval negative one to one. So let's say if we take the derivative. We have cinch of x. Set this equal to zero. Well, that means that x is equal to zero. But we also need to check the endpoints. So let's see. We have cinch of negative 1, which is equal to negative uh, cinch of 1. 
And cinch of 1 is uh, equal to 1.175. So you can see that. So you see that the largest um, that this can possibly be is 1.54. So this will always be less than or equal to 1.54. Uh, largest that um, x can be equal to, or that x to the n plus 1 can be equal to, if x is in this interval, is of course just 1. And of course, then we'll divide this by n plus 1 factorial. 